Hello guys, good morning, buongiorno, welcome to my kitchen once again. So today we're gonna make uh, like a very, very good recipe with very few ingredients, very, very cheap. So today we're gonna make a uh, gourmet pasta with asparagus, lovely asparagi and pancetta, which is kind of bacon. You can use bacon as well, but we'd rather use pancetta for this time. So let's have a look at the ingredients. 200 grams of asparagus, just asparagus tips, we're very fine. And we got some lovely pancetta, about uh, seven, eight slices. We got 300 grams of pasta. This is the ingredients for about three to four people. It depends how hungry you are. We got half an onion, just a brown onion, chopped really finely. We got some, just some table fine salt, some rock salt, some lovely, lovely cold pressed olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, cracked black pepper. So you need a pasta strainer, Beaker, let's say, hand mixer, small pot, fry pan, obviously a knife, chopping board, and a big pot for boiling water to cook our pasta in. First things first, we're gonna clean our asparagus. So now, we're gonna collect all our tips and uh, put them on the side. I'm just gonna pair up the tips this time, cut them all that. So we got these lovely tips. They're gonna look lovely on, on the top of our plate. Uh, they got a different cooking time uh, compared to the rest of the asparagus. So they need less time to cook, basically. So we're gonna pair them up obviously again, start to chop them about half an inch, like that. We got uh, our asparagus tips and uh, our asparagus stems all chopped up nicely. So guys, now we're gonna take care of our pancetta. We didn't uh, turn on the gas yet, we're gonna lay down our finely cut pancetta on a fry pan like very nicely like that so now we're gonna turn on our heat and we're gonna make our pancetta nice and crispy in the meantime we're gonna accelerate our recipe just by turning on the heat on our pot with water loads of water like pasta has to be boiled on loads of water our pancetta started to sweat a little bit the heat is is getting through it so what we're gonna do now is get some extra virgin olive oil and put it on this like a small pot let's be generous and we're gonna do a small sofrito with some onions so we get our brown onion and now just gonna distribute evenly so guys our pancetta started to make the lovely noise the music from my ears uh, you can smell it oh my god it's lovely so now we're gonna get it nice and crispy so our pancetta is sizzling and our onion started to sizzle very nicely as well can you hear the noise lovely so guys our pancetta is getting nice and crispy so it's the time to turn it the time has come to put our lovely asparagus stems just inside like that all the flavors are gonna mix together blend together now we're just gonna get some hot water from our pot our pancetta is very very crispy we're just gonna place it on this plate and let it rest I'm gonna place a lid on top of our asparagus and let it go for about like five to ten minutes our asparagus are boiling up nicely we're just gonna add some salt some black pepper our water is boiling very very nicely we're gonna get some rock salt so about this much these are boiling up nicely the asparagus stems are getting very very soft so we're just gonna cover it half away like that we're gonna get our beaker we're now ready to pour our onions and asparagus inside the beaker with the help of this guy 
we're just gonna add a tiny bit of like water and salt gonna take our hand mixer at the minimum speed just go crazy with it this is basically our result we got a nice puree a bit liquidy we got all the preparation ready to finally put our pasta in water this kind of pan requires 11 minutes of uh, cooking but we're gonna set our timer for actually two minutes less and then i will show you why so nine minutes start and pasta in you're gonna get loads of compliments for all our guests your maybe next girlfriend whoever's gonna be amazed of this recipe trust me it's gonna be like amazing we got our pancetta as you can see it's perfectly crunchy and we're just gonna start crumble down our pancetta see it crumbles down like biscuits so see guys we got our crumbles like the, basically like chips we're just gonna put that aside do a bit of licking fingers Mm, lovely. We're just gonna check our timer. We got four and a half minutes left. This is the right time to add some, just a little bit of olive oil in our frying pan. Just a little bit like that. We're just gonna chuck our asparagus tips in. The sizzling started to be very, very lovely. We're gonna turn our fry pan on maximum heat. Add our asparagus and onion cream. Like that. Now to get everything out of our beaker, just gonna add like a generous amount of boiling water. Don't worry, it looks too much, but it won't be that much in a minute. Just gonna strain our pasta. So pasta strained inside our fry pan. That's it, beautiful. Keep on stirring the pasta. As you can see, the water is boiling away and our cream is getting thicker and thicker. So as you can see, it's getting like very dense now. We can start plating our dish. Like that. Nicely, make sure you're getting some asparagus tips as well. And here we got the crumble of pancetta. Just all around it like that. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. You can impress everyone with this dish. It's just amazing. A bit of pasta, an asparagus tip. Some lovely bacon. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is delicate and also you got this like lovely pancetta flavor coming up like that. It just gives the right kick to this dish. Mm. Oh my god. Guys, please like and subscribe. This is amazing. You're gonna impress everyone with this. Ciao.